When I saw the first trailer for The Day Before, I could not be more hyped. As a longtime fan of The Last of Us and their multiplayer mode factions, I've always wished for an expansive third-person online experience set in a post-apocalyptic world where you're scavenging for resources and fighting infected. A game that takes elements from other games like Destiny or The Division with strikes, PvPVE, and even maybe raids, and a game that has AAA graphics and smooth gameplay. So when I saw this trailer for the day before, it seemed to be checking most of these boxes, and it all seemed too good to be true. And well, there does seem to be a lot of evidence out there that it probably is. But that doesn't change the fact that a game like this would be totally cool. Dr. Poop Love here, and today I want to talk about the day before and why I think a fully realized game like this is desperately needed. And where we should start is by catching up on some of the weird stuff going on with the day before. After this very impressive reveal, the hype for this game was huge, and it soon became the number one most wishlisted game on Steam. But the initial reveal was also reminiscent of the marketing for another game, The Division, because it was very similar. It was a little bit scripted and the graphics looked amazing. And with The Division in particular, seeing these types of graphics and imagining playing a game that looks like this was kind of crazy. And yeah, it turned out that it wasn't that realistic. Although I still did like The Division, it was really nothing like those initial trailers. So, you know, after seeing things like this and becoming a more seasoned gamer, you're trained to be a bit skeptical because oftentimes <laughs> what these game devs are doing are showing off very highly polished vertical slices of the game and when the game eventually does come out it's not nearly as good looking or nearly as impressive as was the case with the division now my poop brain isn't skilled enough to view the difference in a lot of cases but there have been some more trained eyes that have been poking holes in the presentation of the day before especially after we got a few more similar gameplay reveals and many have concluded that these reveals were probably just vertical slices and so many had begun clamoring for more proof or some display of real gameplay live in engine and for a while the developers at fantastic were pretty cagey about this they didn't really provide a whole lot but this wasn't the only thing that was causing concerns there were other things like a sudden delay of the release date where they decided to port the game over to unreal engine 5. there's also been some weird marketing videos and some that seem to be more so focused on selling products than the game itself there's there's also been confusion as to how their staffing structure works, where they call almost everyone volunteers. Are there any paid employees or are all these unpaid volunteers working on this game? And weirdest of all was with nearly one month left until the new release date in March of 2023. After a lot of silence and confusion as to what was going on, in addition to all these weird things I talked about, they suddenly delayed the game again citing a trademark issue with a calendar app that also utilized the day before as a name. And all this ultimately led to this game being delisted on Steam. Now, people were already very skeptical. They already didn't believe this game existed, but this was certainly the final straw. But as a means to try to prove that the game was actually real, the devs released a longer gameplay segment of the game running now in Unreal 5. And there also was a dev diary that showed more of the development of this game, basically trying to prove that this was real, that this was really happening and not some fake vaporware. And it definitely did provide more proof, but it also seemed to be a pretty significant downgrade, more so than even The Division. The world felt pretty empty, and it looked like Fortnite rather than some gritty survival game that was supposed to be closer to The Last of Us. And since then, there's just been more weird marketing, like this hot tub teaser and this trailer with a sports car driving around like we're playing Need for Speed. So yeah, it's been a weird ride, and it's hard to say whether this game is actually going to come out in its new release date in November of 2023. You know, a lot of people think it's probably just going to get delayed and delayed, and it's just all a big tease. So we'll have to see as we get closer to that date. It remains to be seen whether this is that dream game. But if the day before doesn't end up coming out or living up to the hype or promise, which does seem fairly likely, where can we find a game like this? Because the desire is clearly out there. That wishlist chart is 
saying something. It's saying that gamers want a game like this, a post-apocalyptic open world MMO of some sort. So where can gamers find something like that? Well, you might argue that a game like that already exists in DayZ, but of course it doesn't really have that AAA type polish. It doesn't really have as much meat on that bone. I, I would like more of a meta game. Like the day before has some sort of base building and social elements as well that would likely be elements that would make players want to be in this world a lot longer. But there does seem to be a game like this that might see the light of day. A game that's been worked on for a number of years. The developers at Naughty Dog are working on what looks to be an ambitious open world multiplayer game set in The Last of Us world itself. It's got a story and characters, and from what we've heard, it seems to be big. But we haven't really gotten a ton of details yet. We've only really gotten two concept arts, and we've had to kind of sift through job postings and read into messages as a way to try to get more details. And recent news kind of seems to paint that this game might be in a bit of trouble as well. It recently got delayed, and a lot of people think that the game might not even come out. I'm not one of those people though. I do think that this game will still come out and the hope is that it does rise to the level of ambition that a game like this should, that the dream game that a lot of us that want this kind of experience deserve. One thing's for certain though, and that is that we need a game like this. We need a game like what the day before promises to be. It'll be interesting as we get past that November date to see if the day before somehow is able to live up to that promise. I'm certainly not gonna be someone that gets it day one. I will be watching from the sidelines, so we will see. But the desire for a game like this is there, and I hope that one day we do get a game like this. So in the meantime, while we wait, if you'd like to hear more about that Last of Us multiplayer game and where things currently stand, you should check this video out. But otherwise, so long, Pooper Troopers.